and do what feels right for you, regardless of what anyone else says. Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you're all extremely well. So in today's video, I want to talk about some things that you need to know before buying your first ever Louis bag. Now, these tips can really be applied to any first designer bag purchase. However, I wanted to specifically focus on Louis Vuitton because I personally feel like a lot of people that do purchase their first designer bag tend to go with Louis Vuitton. That is the brand that I went with for my first ever designer bag. And I know from personal experience that there are so many questions that you ask yourself, especially if you saved really hard to be able to afford, you know, a luxury item like that. And so I thought today I would make this video in hopes of helping someone out, someone that's struggling, someone that's going back and forth, forth like not sure which bag they should go with or, you know, what they should really take into consideration. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will help one person out. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I don't know why I just said that because I usually say that at the end. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so number one and most important thing to me is to do your research. You have to do your research before you buy any designer bag really um and by that I mean check the pre-love market check out other options because that's something I wish I would have done I just went to the boutique and I bought everything brand new from the boutique and it's not that I really regret it but I wish I would have educated myself and looked at certain items on the pre-love market even just to see what they go for um you know used so I think that's something really important to just kind of educate yourself do your research on the item check out YouTube videos read blog posts I don't know look at Instagram posts that will just help you out so much with making your decision every time I buy a designer bag and I have a few of them every time I buy one I still do that I will check the pre-love market for prices I will see how much they go for um, if I'm planning on buying it on the pre-love market obviously I'll look to find the best deal um, but also I look to see what people say about the particular bag that I'm looking at um, on YouTube videos. I, I find YouTube so incredibly helpful for that. Um, but also Instagram to see how people are styling them and you know that kind of helps me out to know if it will go well with my wardrobe and things like that. So you get my point, just do your research, cover all your bases and make sure that the bag that you have in mind is the right bag for you. Okay, another thing that I think is really important to know and might not be obvious if you've never owned a Louis bag before, um, it is that canvas tends to be a bit better than leather in terms of holding up and wear and tear. Canvas is super easy to take care of. I've never had any issues with my canvas bags. I mean, they're just so sturdy. You don't have to worry about them getting wet. You don't have to worry about them getting scratched up. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting something on them. You can just easily wipe it off with like a baby wipe or something like that. They're just so freaking easy to take care of. Um, now, obviously leather bags are really nice and beautiful and if you'd rather stick with something like that then of course do that but again I would do my research and kind of see you know what people have said about them and how they have held up and wear and tear and all that stuff but if that is something that you're concerned with I would definitely you know think long term and you know go with a canvas moving on to number three which is to go classic yes I just said it go classic if you know me and you have been here on my channel for a while if not you should definitely subscribe down below um, but then you know that I'm a big believer in buying what makes you happy even if it is an expensive trendy item that might be out of style in a year or two like I just think that you should buy what makes your heart happy however these things are expensive and it is a little more like it makes a little more sense to go with something classic that you can keep for the rest of your life that you can wear throughout the years that's never going to go out of style and that you're not going to fall out of love with. So definitely something to think about. Next on my list is to consider cost per wear. This is something that again I find super important and something that I really do all the time. Now I'm an impulse buyer and I do buy a lot of things on impulse sometimes and I probably shouldn't do that um, however I do consider cost per wear I would never intentionally buy something that I know I wouldn't wear so maybe Linda over here has this amazing Jacques Mousse bag that just looks fantastic on her like it's super trendy and you know I absolutely love it on her but 
I know that for me it wouldn't work because it's too small, I just wouldn't like the way it would look on me, and I just wouldn't use it, so therefore I would waste my money and I wouldn't get my money's worth out of it, if this makes sense. I, this was like the weirdest example ever. What is wrong with me? Anyways, you should just really consider cost per wear and go with an item that you know you're gonna get the most wear out of. So for me, I know that I'm gonna wear crossbody bags 10 times more than just a top handle bag. I also know that I'm gonna be wearing bags that are smaller a lot more than a bag that's really large or like a tote or something like that. That's just not my style and not the bag for me, even though there are a lot of totes that I really like the look of, which is why I'm not getting the Dior book tote. I would never use that thing, even though I see it and I think it's beautiful on other people. So definitely something important that you know you need to know and you need to think about. And last but not least, I just wanted to say this because there are all these rules and and all these tips that you know people give you on what you should think about before buying your first designer bag, first Louis Vuitton bag, whatever it may be. Um, but another thing that I think is probably the most important out of everything I just told you guys is to go with your gut and go what feels right for you. If if something feels like ah. Uh, I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't sit well with me, I'm not so sure about it. Like my saying always is, an old lady told me this once, when in doubt, don't. So if your gut is telling you, maybe that's not it, go with your gut. And if it's telling you, you, you need this, this is amazing, yes, it's giving you all the vibes, then go for it. Like just go with your gut and do what feels right for you, regardless of what anyone else says. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Now you can give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.